Good morning. Welcome to your 15 daily operations with a briefing. We have some very unsettled conditions across the region this morning, seeing a very strong wind out of the northeast gusting up to 50 miles an hour. That's going to be the case throughout much of the day to day as a strong area low pressure just off to our south continues to move in the area. We'll also see uh, periods of heavy rainfall across the area today as well as an isolated thunderstorm possible for later this afternoon. Taking a look at our current radar imagery, you can see we do have a uh, Continued showers coming in off the ocean. Some of those have some heavier rainfall in them. We we'll continue to see that throughout the day today, uh, with uh, a good amount of rainfall expected for today into the early overnight hours. So, taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have an area of low pressure uh, just off to our south uh, along the stationary boundary. We have rainfall continuing to stream in off the ocean onto our into the area. Excuse me, and we'll see this additional batch here of rainfall currently over the Outer Banks moving in the area for later this afternoon, the evening hours. That's going to give us a chance of some heavy rainfall as well as an isolated thunderstorm. So taking a look at our current observation, a few clouds at 1,100 feet, scattered deck at 2,700 feet, over gas deck at 4,400 feet, some rain showers in the region. We're seeing winds strong on the northeast, sustained at 28 knots, gusting at 37 knots currently. We have seen wind gusts near 50 knots excuse me, 50 miles an hour uh, this morning. Temperature around 67 degrees and relative humidity at 90%. Uh, so taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have that uh, area of showers associated with the higher cloud tops moving through the region. Had an isolated thunderstorm well off to our uh, west this morning and some more thunderstorms off to the south. But overall, those thunderstorms should be fairly isolated across the region today and uh, better chances about 25% after uh, this afternoon. We're going to see the HER model show how the uh, rainfall continue to move in the region today. You can see we could see a break uh, for later this morning, uh, but uh, probably most likely continue to see some mist in the region uh, with the uh, rainfall continue to move back into the region, uh, according to HER, after 2 p.m. this afternoon. And some of that could be heavy. You can see here some higher DBZs associated with that rainfall. So it could be seeing some isolated thunderstorms. It looks like the best chance of seeing those isolated thunderstorms will be during the late afternoon into the evening hours as a warm that stationary boundary a warm front moves to the region the continued chances of some heavier rainfall so taking a look our risk chart for today red conditions for rain we'll see wind gusts up to 45 knots uh, northeast sustained 20 to 30 knots so uh, windy conditions rainy conditions uh, not a nice day across the region today we'll see a chance of some heavier rainfall as well uh, we do have uh, some drier ground so the flooding uh, Possibility is low, but we'll see that chance of some heavier rainfall. If we were to see any ponding on the roadways or uh, in low-level, sp low-lying spots, it would be during the evening hours after the uh, rain, rain has saturated the ground um, some. As we move into our temperatures, you can see temperatures in the mid-60s today, to upper 60s. Uh, most likely going to see temperatures around 66 to 69 degrees throughout the day today. Um, and then overnight, we'll actually see the temperatures rise slightly with the uh, wind switching out of the southeast and then out of the southwest by tomorrow morning and up to 72 degrees. As far as the terminal forecast goes, we'll also continue to see low clouds in the region. A 10% chance of a thunderstorm through until 1600 local and then increasing those chances that I mentioned with that uh, warm front approaching the region or that stationary boundary. The 25% chance of a thunderstorm from 1600 local to 4 local. And then we'll see a 20% chance of a thunderstorm. Uh, by Thursday at 8 local. Our tides are running about 1 to 2 feet above normal currently. And looking at Thursday and Friday, Thursday, most of the cloud overcast, isolated showers and thunderstorms, low clouds likely in the morning, high 78 degrees. We'll see a decent chance of some rain showers uh, across the area. Uh, looks like the lightning potential is fairly uh, low on Thursday, only about a 30% chance. So right in within that yellow percentage. Um, our low clouds will look likely during the morning on Thursday. Thursday night, most of cloudy, with a chance of low clouds and isolated showers below of 72. Looks like the thunderstorm chances on Thursday overnight uh, will be less than 15% as of right now. And for Friday, uh, mostly cloudy and slightly breezy, scattered showers and thunderstorms, slight chance of low clouds, a high of 79 degrees. Looks like we'll have another short wave or disturbance moving through the region on Friday, giving us a, a decent chance of some showers and thunderstorms in the area. Uh, we'll see the winds during the afternoon gusting around 22, 23 knots, so can't rule out a 25 knot gust. And we'll see those chances of some low clouds during the morning. Well, that's going to complete our 815 daily operations weather brief. I hope everybody has a great day today. I'm back at 10 o'clock over the next seven days.